Police surround a house after a 911 call from a neighbor reporting a break in. We know you're inside. Come out with your hands in the air. Do it now. It sounds like it's going to be a B and E in progress of an unoccupied dwelling. They're currently inside the house. But the people inside were not burglars. Far from it. They were a realtor, his client, and the client's son. There was what felt to me a, a firing squad. It happened in Michigan. Police order everyone out of the house. Roy Thorne walked out first. I'm preparing myself for this to um, go really bad. I, I prepare myself to get shot in my mind. He said his sole concern was protecting his son, Sammy. My thought was, if they get me first, they might just stop shooting her. And they won't get him. Then the realtor, Eric Brown, emerges. He is also handcuffed. Neighbors are calling in that you guys are breaking into the place. I'm the realtor. He informs the officer they can find his real estate license inside his wallet. And that's my license. When 15-year-old Sammy exits the house, he is also handcuffed. The realtor shows officers he's able to open the house with an app on his cell phone. Only then is he uncuffed. Sorry for the inconvenience. They did not give us the opportunity to explain ourselves until ourselves until we were in handcuffs. Once all three were out of handcuffs, the officers explain that the previous week they'd arrested a burglar at the same house who drove a similar car. I do apologize. Do you believe that you were all profiled because of your race? I think it has something to do with it. In my opinion, there's only one thing we could have done differently, but it's it's physically impossible, and, and that's to take our skin off. Come out with your hands in the air, do it now! Police Department says an internal review concluded race played no role in the officer's actions. Meantime, the police chief is offering to meet with the realtor. For his part, the would-be purchaser was so shaken by the incident, he's put his home buying plans on hold.